Okay, so you're finished with uh, putting the image on the SD card. Uh, you mounted the image on the SD card. Now you put the SD card into your Raspberry Pi and fire it up. I'll put under the, the description uh, all the equipment that I'm using. Uh, from the Pi to the case to the uh, USB port uh, extension, USB extension cable, and the Pi supply. So once you put the SD card in the Raspberry Pi and power it up, it automatically boots up like that. And here's the interface. So your node and your gateway loads up. You want to go to your node. Pull it up here so you can see it. Go under Edit. Preferences. Under Call Sign in caps, put your call sign in. That's mine. If your DV dongle is 2 meter, you'll choose C. If it is 70 centimeter, you'll use B. Mine's 70, I'll use B. The gateway, put your call sign. The G is standard for gateway. RPT1 validation is on. Turn it off. Okay. Go to your network tab. Nothing to be changed. Timers, nothing to be changed, not unless you want to change them. Beacon, nothing to be changed. Now, if you wanted to change uh, the message, you can do a different message, etc., etc., etc. Announcement, nothing. DVAP tab is important. Is default is default is on uh, USB zero. That's what you want it on. Change your band accordingly. If you have a two meter or seventy centimeter DVAP, mine's seventy centimeter. Put in your frequency of your HT that is going to be connecting or talking to your DVAP. Mine is 445670. No decimals. And remember, this is in Hertz, so you have to go out to the eight, eighth spot. The power, leave at 10. And the squelch, leave at negative 100. Click OK. Uh, for the changes to be made, you have to reboot the Pi, so click OK. Alright, you're all done there. Minimize it. Next, you have to configure the gateway. Click on Gateway. Open. Give it a second. Once that pops up, You want to put your call sign in. And that will be your gateway. If you want, you can add your QTH, uh, your longitude and latitude. If you want, I don't. That's it. You just add your call sign for gateway tab. Repeater 1, change your band accordingly. B is 70 centimeter, C is 2 meter. I'll do B because I'm, I'm on 70 centimeter. Under startup, select yes. And that's it. Repeater one, nothing. Nothing for repeater two. Nothing for repeater two again. Nothing for repeater three. Nothing for repeater three again. Nothing for four, nothing for four again. IRC DDB tab. Under host name, pick the second from the bottom. Server one, IK2, XYP, dot free, hyphen, dstar, dot org. Username is your call sign. Nothing for password. Uh, 
D, the next tab is your DPRS. There's nothing to be done there. D extra, nothing to be done. Your D plus, change it to enable. And log in is your call sign. Next tab. DS or DCS and CCS. Nothing to be changed. Starting at one, nothing. Starting at two, nothing. Starting at three, nothing. Starting at four, nothing. Starting at five, nothing. Here's your remote. If you want to use an Android app to control your gateways, you want to select remote. If you don't want to do that, you don't have to set this up. I do. So I hit enable. I create a password that I will be using. I'll need to plug the same password here into the Android app. Just plug in any password you want to use. Just remember it. Write it down. I'll be going over the uh, the IRCDDB app in a different video. Uh, your port is going to be uh, 10022. 10022. Next tab. Uh only thing I change here is my DRATs to enable. You could change the language if you want to English instead of the UK. I just change the DRATs. And that's it. It's important to go under File and hit Save. And again, the changes will be made uh, after the Raspberry Pi has been rebooted. So click OK and close that out. So at this point what you want to do is go down to the bottom right hand corner click the red button give it a second and click on reboot and reboot your Raspberry Pi.